on YouTube, Curtis 7 here for the Manchester Derby review. Come on, United! <laughs> Manchester is red, can you see that? Woo! <laughs> oh man, it was so hard to keep a straight face there, but what a win, lads! That was simply. No, let me fix my camera up. That was amazing! That was simply un freaking real. Woo! <laughs> Man, that was that was an awesome, awesome derby to say the least. That was, oh mate, what a game! What a derby, mate! The crowd was absolutely nuts. Oh mate, what a win! And to be fair, City fans, we ages won. We yeah, it's been a while since we won one at Old Trafford. But anyways, lads, let's get to the game. And I'll get to my opinions at the end. Ah. Oh. What a game, but we didn't start off well. No, the first 10 minutes, mate, it's like we didn't come out. We just were, we were just like, oh, mate, I don't know if the nerves got to us or what, but fair play to City. They got on the front foot and they started attacking, which I didn't see coming at all. I thought we were going to get on the front foot the way we've been playing lately and the way City have been playing. But fair play to City. David Silva, he got off the, uh, he got off the leash early, same as James Milner. They combined together. Silva to Aguero, easiest tapping you're gonna see all season long. City go ahead within like seven or eight minutes, something like that. And I was thinking to myself, Jesus, that wasn't in the script. That's not meant to happen, mate. I thought there and then I knew where we gotta be up for it today. We have, mate. If we're gonna win this, we're gonna earn this. And boy, did we earn this win today. Anyways, not long after that, still playing crap football. Um, Herrera. Carrick in the middle, started to get a bit of shift back in the middle of the park, but Herrera got the ball to Ashley Young, who made a lovely, lovely run. Kalishi couldn't keep up with him, he was a bit unlucky, Kalishi there. But Ashley Young tucks home as, uh, his first chance of the game. Mate, 1-1, and we are still playing crap football. For, for how good City were in the opening 15 minutes, the scores were 1-1. And I knew at that point, lads, we are, we are on today. We, if we can get going, we will definitely maul City. And that, that's pretty much what happened. After that, goal. Uh, Herrera and Carrick started getting on top of the midfield. We started to dominate a little bit more. And Daily Blind, superb Daily Blind, uh, who was fantastic today. If I did think there was going to be a weakness today, it was Daily Blind, just because of Navas's pace down that wing. And, and in the first five minutes, Navas got behind Daily Blind, and you've seen the pace. Daily Blind's really, really slow. Navas is really, really quick. And he had a one on one to Hay. And Hay, what a save! Um, Mate, that could have been a different game if he had scored that. But De Gea was superb throughout the game. Anyways, Daily Blind, he was superb throughout the game. Uh, mate, unbelievable. Linked up with Ashley Young. Ashley Young crossed it into Fellaini. Fellaini versus Clichy at the back post. It was a no contest. 2-1! We go ahead and we started to play good football. And that's when I knew, lads, today was going to be our day. Bossing the midfield after that point. Got the lead. Crowd was buzzing. It was perfect. And then Vincent Company decides coming in like a stream, uh, steam train on Daily Blind. Stands up. High foot. Referee. What are you going to do, son? You're going to bottle it. That's exactly what you did. That is, and man, that was like two red cards. Mate, ah. Uh, how he was still on that pitch, I'll never know. Decided in his earpiece, he's talking to the man upstairs, and then he was talking to the assistant referee. He was walking back and forth, and then he pulled out the yellow card. Mate, that, mate, that, how can you argue that was not a red card? Seriously, high foot, studs up, contact, red card every day of the week. I don't care if, even if that was a United player, that was a red card every day of the week. Anyways, lads, half time comes. Vincent Company gets subbed off. Manuel Pellegrini know, knows he's not 100% and knows that he was going to get a red in that second half. City could have been down to 10 men. Should have been down to 10 men. Doesn't matter, lads. We came out in the second half playing fantastic. Pretty much picking up where we left off in the first half. Second half, lads. Rooney combining with one matter. One matter. One on one with Joe Hart. Puts it through his legs. Lads, 3 1. Derby is out. Gets in. One matter. Again. He's in some goal-scoring uh, form at the minute. He just loves scoring goals, but he was fantastic today. And before you say it, yes, I know what you're going to say. It was offside. Yeah, well, fair enough, that was offside. So it was companies was a red card. So that is all square, even in my books. 
So, that's 3-1 and the crowd is buzzing. Game, set and match in my opinion. City didn't look like they were going to score two goals. Didn't look like they were going to score another goal. Anyways, lads, we, we started to boss it. And mind you, this is with Falcao on the bench, Di Maria on the bench. Our bench looks, on paper, looks absolutely amazing. Anyways, there's a few substitutions. But anyways, lads, not long after that, five minutes after that, we had a free kick. And, mate, the City defence was absolutely gash. They were terrible. We're, nobody was marking Chris Smalling. Lovely free kick. Chris Smalling gets on the end of it. 4-1. 4-1, and this, and everyone's thinking, lads, how many are we going to score today? Is this, are we got more left in us? We were fantastic, lads, 4-1, and you can pretty much say this game was done and dusted. But right at the end, after we made our uh, substitutions, we bring on Rojo, Di Maria, Falcao, uh, Carrick got injured, did he? I, I don't know, I'm not too sure what happened, I hope he's alright, because he was key for us to winning today. He was unbelievable. He went off straight down the race. Lads, we were down to 10 men. And half the uh, players didn't even know we were down to 10 men. Uh, Louis Van Gaal just said after the game that um, only Ashley Young and Wayne Rooney knew that we were down to 10 men because they changed roles. He goes, um, he said that the crowd was so loud that he couldn't get his message across to the players. Anyways, lads, 10 men United concede a crap goal uh, to Aguero. He just loves scoring against United. He seems to be injured all season long, but he always seems to play against us. And he always seems to score against us. But the game was done and dusted. United winning 4-2 against City. Mate, what a game. What a derby. Unreal. But I just want to say... Mate, Ander Herrera, what a player this kid is going to be. He is something else. He is that midfielder uh, we're screaming out for. Could be. Um, mate, David Moyes is signings. Fellaini, Ashley Young. These guys have been turned around compared to, compared to last season. We thought, now nah, they're not Manchester United quality. Write them off. They're, they're crap, you know. Let's just sell them, be done with them. These guys are our best players. Man, Ashley Young, man of the match today. It is unreal how players can do with uh, 180, turn themselves around, and be, uh, you know, decent. You know, it's unreal. It's a shame that Di Maria and uh, Falcao, the 180 has gone the opposite way for them, but hopefully they can pick up, lads. Eh? And City, where does that leave them? Liverpool can pick City for fourth spot. Lads, we are one point behind Arsenal. We play Chelsea uh, next week, and I'll tell you what, Chelsea do not want to be playing us right now. I know it's at Stamford Bridge, but Chelsea are not in the best form themselves. Um, I'll tell you right now, this is going to be a nil-nil draw at Chelsea. I can tell you right now. Uh, Mourinho is going to set up uh, at Stamford Bridge not to lose. He's going to want to keep possession. He's going to want to keep the defence tight. He does not want to lose because i tell you what, if we beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, man, Arsenal and us... Mate, that, that's going to blow the title race wide open. We've still got to play Arsenal. I think Arsenal's still got to play Chelsea. Mate, this title race is not done and dusted. Same as top four. It's not done and dusted, but lads! Top four looks, looks to be secured. It's not official yet. And I'm not going to say it's official until it's mathematically possible. But lads, things are looking good for United. What a game. What a display. Anyways, lads, I've been your boy, Curtis Seven. If you like the result, please smash that like button. If you're not subscribed already, and if you want to follow me on any social media accounts, uh, check the links in below. But I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care, and peace. <laughs>